Hi everybody, welcome back to the excellent Stalker 2 on PC and in this video hopefully I'm going to show you some more very useful console commands. And remember all of these commands are going to be in the description below this video so if you know what you're doing you can just kind of have a look at them now. So what we're going to be looking at is how to add money to the player, we're going to be looking at how to change the weather, how to change the time and then how to get rid of the HUD so you can take great screenshots or I guess for a completely immersive experience now also in the description below this video you will find a link to this video which is how to install uh, the UE tools mod which is one of the tools available on Nexus mods that gives you access to the command console on PC stalker 2 and the command com console is basically uh, a way that we can send commands directly to the game engine to do sort of things for us. Um, it's really easy to do, it's really easy to install. So if you watch that video first and in that video I show you how to spawn stuff in, then you can always come back to this one. Right, so let's start off with the um, what we're going to do. We're going to add some money to the player. So the, the command for that is add money to player and then how much money you want to add. So what you can do is you can always copy the command from the description below this video. Then if I go to my inventory, you'll see <laughs> I've got 349,000 coupons. So if we press F10, F10 to bring up the console and I can control V to paste it in. So add money to a player. So, so let's add another 100,000 coupons. And then if we come out of that, and then we press inventory we can see I've now got 449,000 coupons remember with this sort of thing with great responsibility with great power comes great responsibility so obviously you're only cheating yourself out of a game experience when you do stuff like this but there we go so that's how you do that one now the next thing we were going to look at was changing the weather now there's kind of two prefixes you can use you can use X force weather an X switch to weather. Um, in the description below this video, I've used X switch to weather for all of these things because it's the one that does does it um, quickly. Um, whereas X force weather changes the weather slowly and naturally as it would happen in game. In fact, I tell you what, before we do that, we'll change the time so it changes to daytime. So to change the time, you use, as far as I can tell, X set weather time. So I copy that. And then you do hour, minute, second. So if we go back to the game, so if we go F10, F10, bring it up, control V, set weather time. So if I set it for a 24 hour clock, so if I set it for 12, uh, 12, hour 12, minute 12, second 12, it should go to the daytime. There we go. So we're back in the daytime. Now, there, might, there may well be something going on because there is also an X, another command which is set game time. Now, when you play around with set game time, that doesn't change the lighting. So I don't know whether by doing this sort of thing, we're taking the game time out of sync with the weather time. So you just have to watch off, watch out for that sort of thing. But I'd imagine doing a restart, doing a set, do it, do a save, then go back into the game. That, that's just sort of something out. So now we can look at the weather, can't we? Um, so let's go back to my list. So, yeah, so we've got X force weather to change things slowly and X switch to weather to do stuff fast. So let's do the fast one. So let's I don't know, X switch to weather stormy. There we go. So if we copy that, go back to the game. F10, F10. Press enter. And then what you should see, is hopefully, after a few seconds, you'll get a storm start. Of course, um, with all of this stuff, you never know. Things may well get a bit buggy and uh, <laughs> and not work. We might have to do it. Is it coming? Is it getting windier? Yep, there we go. So the storm started. Ooh, wow. Okay. So now let's use set switch weather to clearly. Let's copy that. Go back to the game, F10, F10, control F. There we go. So we've said clearly, so again, after a few seconds, hopefully the storm will dissipate and then we'll have a clear day. It still, ooh, it still seems pretty stormy to me, peeps. Oh, 
Okay, I, th I think, yeah, I think the storm's stopped. Let's try and... Okay, yeah, yeah, the storm has definitely stopped. Um, and then, I can, I'll let you go through and play with all of them. But if we go to switch weather to rainy. Oh, yeah, that's definitely gone clear now, isn't it? It's definitely gone clear now. It's lovely. Oh, lovely day in the zone. So switch to rainy weather. I wonder if it's meant to go cloudy first before it gets rainy. The clouds are coming in. I think they are. Okay, well it may be that you have to go from certain weather types to certain weather types to make them work. You'll know if you've put the wrong thing in because it will say there's an error. Um, but again, I'll let you go through and I'll let you play with the various different settings. Now, oh, okay, so we've got starting and stopping emissions as well. I should have mentioned that. So you need to be very careful with these because obviously you could kill yourself with an emission. So you may want to use uh, set god mode is true before you start playing around with them. But if you do X start emission, let's, let's jump in. And let's, yeah, it's getting cloudy, so I guess the rain is going to start in a minute, but we haven't got time to wait around, so start emission. And then what I would say is when you are playing around with this, what you probably want to do is jump back and have a X stop emission ready to go as well. Because this will slowly come in, and you, what you'll see when this works, you'll see an emission start to form somewhere. And then it will gradually start to get redder and the storm will come in and it all becomes very nasty. Ooh, yeah, here we go. There we go. I think it's over there, is it? Ooh, <laughs> where's the emission? See the, see the sky starting to go dark, starting to go red. Get to the shelter. Okay, so let's F10 it. F10, stop emission. Okay, so we don't get killed. <laughs> and there is kind of a little bit of a delay as, as the weather uh, changes. Okay, so, and then we'll stop, we'll finish off with um, getting rid of the HUD, which is on X hide all widget and X show all widget. So if we copy that, go back to the game. Hopefully we haven't died to this emission. Right. F10, F10. Hide all widget. I see they've all gone. In fact, I, t I think maybe what's happening here is the emission isn't actually um, on. Let's have a look. Yeah, because it's not telling us to. Oh, to always tell us to get to shelter. Always telling that. Oh, there's the look. There's the emission. Maybe what we need to do is set the weather differently. So set weather to clearly. Because I think maybe what happens is the weather may well be independent of the emission. You know, the graphic graphical effect of the emission. Oh no, it's not. I just died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so probably what happened there was we didn't um, the, the 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 time delay between starting the emission and then you've got to wait for it to start and then you've got to stop it. I'd, I would have thought what you would you be using the most for that one is when you're doing a quest and then an emission starts and you want to stop it. That's when you would use X stop emission. Now with the widget one, you saw the widget disappear, and to make the widget come back, you do X show all widget. Now that doesn't always work. I've tried that a few times. Sometimes you've got to go into like your PDA or the pause menu and then come out of it, and you'll see your compass and all that stuff coming back as well. Um, a big thanks has to go out to the Weather Lord. He's the one. Uh, I'll put a link to his. He's got a mod page on uh, Nexus Mod where he had, he lists the different types of weather, which was very useful. That's how I got this information. 
and of course there is a um, list of com console commands by Captain Koidit uh, on Steam which I'll list. There's quite a few of these console commands. If you do a search for Stalker 2 console commands you'll find things um, and there's obviously loads of different things you can play around with. Be very very aware of course that there is a high chance that as you're messing around with these, if you mess around with ones that you shouldn't do, you could well break your save, which might not mean that the game crashes straight away, but it could be in the future um, that particular save doesn't work because maybe you've picked up a quest item too early or deleted a quest item or killed an NPC that you shouldn't have. So always do this on a separate save when you're messing around. Okay, so hopefully that's been useful. If it has been, hit like, if you want to see more the same, press subscribe, and of course I'll see you again soon.